Uh, hey, what's up? Peace, guys. Russ with RWG Research here. Um, I just want to give you a update on the flashback testing, and actually, it's the quenching disc testing. <clears throat> so, uh, me and Andrew, uh, aka Hans Solo Solo One, did some uh, testing with quenching discs, and uh, we were using these stainless steel. I think he said 316L discs. Okay, these are. Uh, one sixteenth of an inch thick. If we can get them in there, these are the 0.2 microns here. Um, but I wanted to show you what we did. Um, the end of the video ended abruptly because I ran out of uh, space on my camera. I it's been filling it up, and I uh, we had probably 27 minutes worth of footage on there, so we used up a lot, and uh, and it wasn't expecting that. But here's what we came up with. We took one of those discs and we've crimped it into this. This is a half inch. Um, like compression fitting, okay. Now what I wanted to show you <clears throat> is we did. I did go to Lowe's and find some parts at Lowe's that you can use for um, these discs exactly. So these are three quarter inch discs. All right, I'm gonna set the camera down so we can see. So these are three quarter inch discs, and <clears throat> this pipe fitting. I use three eighths. So this is a three eighths to five eighths adapter compression fitting on both sides okay so I take this apart it's got the the little crimp brass crimp and the ends now one thing I want to tell you about this um, well first I'll show you how well these fit in here these are 5 8 here's the watts package number okay so you can go get this anywhere actually probably online but it's a 5 8 to 3 8 compression right there you can see a compression union okay um, Here's the cap that I'm going to be showing you. So you've got this part number as well. Um, so if I take this apart, it does have this ring in here. You can see that this fits quite nicely right inside there. All right. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you, though, here's the deal. Here's what you got to look at. The inside of here, it's going to be hard to see, but that's beveled the edge inside there is a bevel alright this this inner lip right here is a bevel alright you can see it there real well now the bad thing with that being a bevel is the fact that this doesn't sit flush against there anymore so what I suggest you doing is buying a cap and you can get just this adapter with no ends on it if you want um, <clears throat> so I recommend you getting a cap and the cap is flat all right, and it looks like this one's kind of got a center already in it. You kind of see it there, and you could just drill this out with a regular drill to the size you want. All right, because this this fits in here really well, and it fits all the way up against the top, nice and flat. All right, and the reason that I suggest you get one of these and drill it out is so you have a flat surface for this disc to sit on. Otherwise, you're going to be pushing against this beveled edge, and it's not going to get a, it's not going to seal very well. Now uh, the other thing is is that these are different thicknesses. All right. These particular two are different thicknesses. And if I screw this beveled edge all the way to the bottom, I have a nice big gap between there and it's too big of a gap. All right. So what I had to do on this one you see behind me here is use this part set this on top of this and then tighten it. That way I get a nice compression against here but ultimately what I recommend is this flat cap drilled out I'm gonna use the lathe but you can use a drill and uh, this will compress without the nut bottoming out see what I'm saying and then you'll have that you'll have that front edge just like this that's what I recommend um, on this particular one I actually have the, the cap that's uh, got a bevel in it. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show you is how I'm going to be setting mine up now. Um, <clears throat> again, these are 5 8 adapters that those 3 quarter inch discs fit in just right. Here's my setup. Some of you are going to ask me why I put copper here. This head's probably going to get warm. If I don't have a big big flow rate where the flame's high, and again we have to figure this out, the more the more pressure is it going to it may flash back and burn you know, burn out our flame. It's possible. Um, so I got I got to play with that. It may it may actually sustain a nice flame. I, I don't know. We have to play with those things. But this is a, a copper tubing, and since this is a compression fitting, 
I can use this copper and um, this is gonna take my heat away and then I'll just end up mounting this on a board or something and uh, then this will be my my flame front testing so I wanted to show you that I wanted to give you an update of what these three quarter inch uh, discs fit in and how nice they fit in uh, again I'm gonna thank uh, Andrew for donating these discs they're not cheap um, and again we're still looking for some ceramics but they're just as expensive I'm afraid so that's the deal um, just wanted to give you give you an idea of what I did here and so you can replicate this if you'd like see I've got this tight I can't really hear it but it it's it's just not compressed it's compressed against the back of the nut that's why I like this one because it's thinner so get your cap drill it out uh, the only thing I can think of that you're gonna have a small issue with is the fact that between this thread the, the base and the cap um, the threads are tight but you're probably gonna have a teeny tiny tiny bit of leakage because you gotta remember this disc is porous all the way through the top and bottom and I believe through the sides as well so what you're gonna have is anything that's compressed between these two pieces anything that's coming out between that that wall the wall thickness so it's gonna be coming out the edge of this and possibly bleeding out between between the threads and the cap alright that's a possibility and maybe so little it may not be wor uh, worth worrying about you could probably get some sort of a heat glue and glue it um, Andrew had an idea I didn't quite understand what he was telling me he told me on a voicemail so I'll have to call him back but all in all use some sort of heat tube you could even take a tiny bit of solder and solder that possibly it might melt I don't know um, if it gets too hot but there you go I want to give you an update on how I was going to be putting that together uh, guess I wasn't done I forgot to add that these discs alright the ones we used were 0.40 microns I'm sorry 40 microns I did some calculations the things you do see in Stan's patents and information and what he talks about is between point zero two five thousandths of an inch and point zero zero one five thousandths of an inch the equivalent if you convert those numbers over to microns please do this for yourself and make sure I didn't do this wrong it is between around thirty to sixty microns alright so that's the range that Stan talks about and that's what we're trying so um, you know do those calculations for yourself but that's where I got the numbers that's why I'm trying the 40 micron and I'm looking for between 30 and 60 microns that's the reason for that is because that is the equivalent to 0 0.0015 thousandths and 0 0.025 thousandths see ya later and uh, yeah so I'm gonna leave you guys go hopefully this was a short clip hope you enjoyed that um, I really believe that Stan's technology is real I believe that we can get there and it is going to take everyone's help so if anybody like to donate to the research you can do that at rwgresearch.com click on the donate or just get a contact get in contact with me uh, rwg42985 at aol.com all right check out uh, alexpetty.com uh, grease petty research kind of a team going on there with some other stuff and uh, also check out open-source-energy.org and post over there uh, all the ideas and thoughts if you guys send me a really really long email that's fantastic but it would be better if you posted on the forums and we could all collaborate more people the merrier alright happy new years this might be the last video till new years I don't know and I may be going live tomorrow I'm gonna be fixing up my garage door I might just put the camera on and just let it play I don't know so peace out have a good day Let's see leave comments